Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we've got potentially some internal strife to deal with here. I do want to get our High Priest assigned and we'll just go like that. Fantastic. Now the question is, is the Civil War actually brewing? We'll give it till the month tick and looks like yes. Okay, so it is this guy who's the problem. So we're simply going to bribe him. Cool. No problem whatsoever there. We're certainly going to have 12 and 14. Okay, this was 9 and 10 months before I started ticking. But I guess I just restarted the game. It probably had to recalculate that. So that's okay. I would like... Well, actually, financially we're at 56.96 right now. That is remarkable. With us having our wages up and our taxes all the way down... That is actually insane. I do like that. That's great. So 10 and 13 months, huh? Okay. Well, we're, we'll definitely have to deal with that. No doubt about that. Unless we can do something about it. What would harsh treatment actually do here right now? 0.09? So it would delay it substantially, but it would not stop. Okay. Yeah... A big part of this, I think, comes down to our stability. I think that's really a lot of it. So, we do need to have that be brought up. This province here, we might be able to do something about 0.22. And this would be 0.21. I mean, that'll delay it extraordinarily substantially. We did get this city made. Fantastic. And what do we want this to be? Well, we know that we produce marble here, so slave pops would be absolutely what we would go for. Okay, cool. We do need to let additional cash come in here. And I think we're going to have to just deal with these rebellions. I think that's all there is to it. Aquitania and Mexesia, I think both of them are going to be rebelling against us. I don't like it, but here we are. Martial advances, I do like. And let's grab we know we were working on civic advances here yeah cultural administration two additional advances and we get servile bondage after that we should certainly start working on things like cultural judiciary would be pretty decent but there's probably some better stuff around we'll see for now cultural administration for sure i mean the cultural integration speed is nice and pop assimilation speed is very nice yeah, that's absolutely great. We're really going after the political influence output, but I like it. That's good. On with the celebrations. Local happiness would be good. So we definitely need to let our stability come upwards. There's no doubt about that, and it is making its way up. I would like to think about attacking these guys. We're just not in a stable enough position to do that right now. Perhaps once our aggressive expansion is virtually gone... But right now, we absolutely need to take some time. So we're going to put in a pair of mills here for sure. Another civil war brewing up. Okay. This is... You. The head of the Da Vici family. Okay. We'll bribe you, but it's awkward. We actually have enough to make a city if we had the gold. We don't have the gold right now. And pretty soon, we're going to be running out of places where we want to build cities. I'm just building them in state capitals right now, or I guess provincial capitals right now. So that is the goal for the moment. We should at some point go around and check to see if all of those are made. I'm just looking at them here. I think we're really close. That's a city there. This is a city, 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 city. This is still a settlement. Is that the only location? This is a settlement. Okay, so there's like two settlements that need to be made into cities. Plus this one up here that we captured a little bit more recently. So three in total. Got it. For now, that's reasonably fine. We do still need to work our way through these constructions, right? So we'll get that all done. We need an oratory researcher, and that's going to be you, I guess. No decent traits, so that'll do. 140 right now. Okay. So, there's that rebellion. 
We're not shocked about it. We knew this was coming. And up we go. We're going to bring these guys in as well. We're not going to have any trouble dealing with these, I don't think. Yeah, they've, they've only got a 4K stack. This is not a problem. We should be having the others shortly thereafter. In about one month. Okay. We did just lose our auger. And we really should put in someone who's not a member of a scorned or who is a member of a scorned family i should say there we go so something like this we'll get this siege underway we stack wiped that unit and that siege is happening cool so these guys are just going to walk directly in here i don't suppose carthage instantly declared war on that no they didn't okay again this war is fine we're not going to have any problem here so we just need to get that siege done. I'd love it if these guys could make their way into here. Unfortunately, they can't. Yeah, we can't make it past this fort at this time. So for the time being, this is relatively fine. No major issues here, but we are moving some slave pops around for sure. And, you know, sacking the city. Yeah, the province loyalty is always been a problem up over here no doubt about that so i want to get some of these settlements being turned into cities we're going to get this one going right now since we can and we know that we need two more so that's fine i don't see any other capitals that are settlements so that's absolutely wonderful i believe it is just this location and this location so that's absolutely great except for down here i'm talking about in iberia there's probably some over this way. Oh, yeah, there definitely are. Okay, so this fort is done. We're going to push on. I don't think we can make our way to there, unfortunately. But really, they're bringing in these mercs. That seems ambitious. Wonder what their goal is there. I guess we'll just go eliminate their mercs. Yeah, we'll, we'll just eliminate their mercs here. They have basically no morale so this is not a problem at all so they're retreating i don't even know where they're retreating to it doesn't really matter to be honest this siege will be done relatively soon as will this one actually hang on are they going here oh you're disloyal now come on you jerk get loyal don't go that direction okay this direction is actually fine but we didn't know that at the moment. I thought that they might be retreating to here. Which they were not. They're apparently retreating here. So that's completely okay. We'll let them do that, and then we'll just grab this location and head on in. Like, this is over, right? Losing to tyranny, huh? Actually, that's a lot of gold. 396 gold. But I'd love to get that stability. Okay, I'm going to take these guys on home. I don't believe that they're necessary any longer. And the real question is, how long is it going to take us to get out of debt? I want to at least bump our taxation up to here. We have a new leader. Okay. And we need a new magistrate and a Galani, ideally. Hmm. Sure. He's not great at the job, but he'll do. Okay, so this feels pretty over, right? Hmm, apparently this guy was struck by a rogue arrow. Okay, whatever. That's completely fine. This siege is now won, so we're going to sue for peace. We're going to take this location. We're going to lose half a point of AE, which is absolutely great. And then we'll move these guys right on back over here. We do need a governor in Africa, and we'll put this lady in. And as far as this goes, we'll sue for peace here as well. And we'll take all of this territory. Wonderful. And we'll lose half a point of AE. So overall, that was not painful, right? Not painful in the slightest. We can actually do integration of Aquitania now. That's fascinating. Okay, I'm going to bump our taxes up and our wages back down to normal as we come out of debt. We know that we have our provincial loyalty up high enough to construct over here, and I want to get the gold to do that. 
So that's the goal for right now. We're out of debt at this moment. We're going to get these guys back to drilling. Once these arrive back at some form of station point, it doesn't technically have to be over here in, in Galicia. But uh, is this Galicia? This is actually Calicia. Okay, interesting. We're going to drill this army. And once these guys arrive, we'll drill them as well. Now, that will increase their maintenance cost. Oh, you're disloyal? What a jerk. What a jerk. Well, I'm not actually going to do anything about that right now, I think. I want to get... That's, that one's being promoted. I want to get this settlement promoted up to a city. And then we know we need one more up here in Iberia. So that is the current goal. That is this location here. We'll need political influence for that. So I guess he's just going to go stand over here in this random field. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. If that's what he wants to do. I'm actually going to turn off the drilling because I want the gold right now. Because specifically, I want to come up over this way and I want to determine earthenware, huh? Freeman output in the capital and local Freeman happiness. So in that case, we may want to make this be a manpower city. Which would mean three forums, which we'll have to wait for a month tick. Any moment now, month tick. You can do it. There we go. And then we'll need three training camps, which will also need, like, two more month ticks in total. Also, we have one more fort here than we need. We don't need both of these to have a fort. So I'm going to get rid of this fort, and I'd like to put in a provincial legation over here. That is going to cost, like, all of the gold that we're going to make out of this, unfortunately. But that's fine for now. And we know that we're going to need to work on this city up over here. Wait, there are two import routes in, Aqu in Aquitania. Wait, Supply Aquitania is already bypassed? That's interesting. Develop Aquitania is bypassed as well. Integration of Aquitania bypassed these? Interesting. Well, in that case, I guess we'll just enable automatic trading over here. And we'll just build up these cities the way we normally would. Okay. Slightly awkward, but sure. I guess that'll work. So we'll get this city maxed out for the moment. We're still going to max out the cities, right? That's definitely a thing that we're going to do. And then this produces salt, which is local Freeman happiness. I feel like we're doing okay on manpower. I don't think we need, like, yeah, this would be wine here. We don't need three, three, what are we get, losing here? 10 political influence and 2,000 manpower. I'd like to spend the manpower over the gold. I don't like spending the political influence, but I guess. Okay, so I don't want all of these to be manpower cities. I'm going to make this one be a research city. And we'll need some additional gold to make this happen, of course. We'll get that queued on up. And then we'll need to make ourselves a couple of libraries here, and that'll be absolutely fine. Okay, cool. We can see that import is happening. We are losing provincial loyalty over here, but that's okay. Okay, a researcher just died. That was this researcher here. Cool. Nobody in this top category has any of these good traits, so I'm just going to put this guy in as the uh, best researcher. Cool. We'll get those libraries queued up, and then over here we need to decide what do we want this to be. I'm honestly leaning towards having it be another research city. I feel like we could use more of that. So we would put in an academy here. And we'd, of course, need two additional. That'll be two month ticks to get that done. Hmm. Yeah, on with the celebrations. We could use the happiness. That'll be fine. So put in another academy here. And then the question is, how many other cities need construction? Like, not talking about building the cities from scratch, right? How many buildings do we need? We need a bunch of cities down over here. That's why we're investing in the political influence. But I definitely think we should work on culture happiness. 
with our tech very, very shortly. Once we grab Servile Bondage. So we'll grab clean water into Servile Bondage, and then from there... Okay, that became a city. That's fine. For the time being, we probably don't have the cash to uh, get that all fully good to go. Yeah, that pretty much wiped out our cash there. We need an oratory researcher now. And actually, this is skill 10 and scorned family. So we'll go for Maguna Carosa. Excellent. A minor addendum. 10 political influence for 6 stability is a bitter pill to swallow right now. That's about 5 months worth of political influence. That is still pretty decent, actually. So we'll bring that stability up close to 50. I want to take a look through these disloyal provinces and see how much they're going down by. In most cases, minimal amounts. Okay, cool. So that is absolutely wonderful for the time being. We are going to need to build a provincial legation over here in Stomatas. That'll be fine. And what else do we need to build? Well, we're going to have a bunch of city buildings that we need, I think. So down over this way, a tax office. Over here, we need a library. Up this way, we need a library. Over here, we're going to need a tax office. Okay, what else do we require? This is up this direction. Right, this city is completely a blank slate right now. So... I would kind of like to have this be another research city. I feel like we need more research coming through. So we'll get a couple of academies going. As soon as we get a month tick, we'll get another academy. And then five libraries. It's a lot of libraries, for sure. But I don't feel like we need this wine. I feel like we're doing okay on manpower. I'm not concerned about our manpower right now. So we'll get that additional academy going. And then we're just going to pump out the libraries. Two per month is what we can get here. So we've got two month ticks until this city is completely done. That's wonderful. We should probably consider once we do that, cutting our taxes back down for the happiness benefit. That's almost certainly something that we want to do. So that'll be fine. We'll get this constructed. As soon as this month tick occurs... Right about now, in fact. And from here, what else do we need? Oh, we've got three cities that we need to construct in. Okay. We can build a library over here. And now we need cash. So we'll give that a month tick. There we go. And what else do we need? These two cities up this way. So that's a training camp. And where was this other one? Here? Yes. A library. Perfect. At this point, I'm going to cut our taxes down. So we're no longer getting that minus 20% research points. That'll be very helpful. And we can see we're at 172. That's not bad. We're coming at the city of Elotania. Okay. So this is now a city at this point. It also produces wine. Lots of wine production in this area. I don't feel like we need it. Do we feel like we need a research city here? Hmm. We're at 173. That number is going to come up a decent amount. We're doing quite a lot of construction on research or research adjacent cities right now. I think one more isn't going to hurt. So we'll queue this up and we'll get that good to go. But we're definitely getting close to our research cap for right now, which is good. We want to be at our research cap. How are we doing for our tech anyway? We're 81 years ahead of time. That's good. We want to be 81 years ahead of time. We want to be more ahead of time if we possibly can. So we want to get an additional library queued here. I see this brewing. The governor of Atlas is the main problem. Okay. We'll wait for this month tick and we'll get these two libraries queued up. There we go. And now let's take a look at this governor of Atlas thing. Ikeas Kurosi. Okay, so that's this guy here. Hmm. What's he upset about? Just power base in country. Okay. He's 63 years old, but he's in perfect health. We cannot persuade him because he's deceitful. 
Hmm. He's at 20 corruption right now. I'm thinking about just giving him free hands. I don't like it. That's going to increase his corruption, though. And we can bring him to trial later, if need be. Why is our fleet chilling here in this port? I don't recall telling them to do that. They must have been disloyal at some point. Interesting. This guy's very upset. But he's in very poor health. And he has no power base. Get out of here. We're going to smooth talk him out of those ambitions. Fantastic. So we're getting close to having enough cash to upgrade another city. Which would be good. We definitely need to come down and upgrade things like this city here. Would be absolutely wonderful to up upgrade. This one would be good. This one. So how many in total do we need here? We have one, two, three, four. This is already upgraded. Five. We know we've had food issues over here. But five... This isn't allowed to continue, probably. Maybe it is. Slave happiness would go down. But this, but I would take that political influence. Cool. So we know we have five up here. We've got six. We've got seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay. So there's a lot of cities to be made down over this way. Cool. We'll get this one going. And we'll just build these as quickly as we can. I would like to keep an eye on this situation up here. We probably want to attack up here relatively soon. We don't have a war goal, though. So we would have to fabricate a claim. And the Romans controlling this crossing really does make this more awkward. A lot more awkward. So, militarily, what are we looking for? We are really looking for Rome to get in some trouble. Which is probably going to end up looking like internal struggles. That would be what we'd be looking for here. And then we declare on Rome to take this area over this way. So that we could get across this river more easily. That said, we can't always just sail. That is an option. We can park our navy up over here and do a naval invasion up over this way and just sail across this river. That's an option. And we may end up taking that option. We'll see. For now, I want to check in. There are no city buildings to build, remarkably. I kind of expected there to be some. But we do have these city constructions underway. We have a number more of these to go, of course. Nine is that number. If we're going to fight either of these, we're going to need this legion to be in Iberia. That's a guarantee. I'm going to move it up to the coast here. We're not necessarily going to move it across the water just yet. Because we may end up fighting Carthage at some point, too. So we're kind of hedging our bets here. We can probably take Carthage. Hmm. They're 33 stability right now. What's Rome's current stability? 40? Okay. That's a lot of gold. That I don't feel like we need. We'll have him publicly slandered. Okay, I was tempted for a second there, but then I was like, eh, I don't think that's a good precedent. Approval from Democrats, huh? Sure, we'll take it. We're up to 63% Senate support, which is always great. Our aggressive expansion is very slowly dropping at this point, so we should start thinking about attacking somewhere, perhaps attacking out over here. We've talked about doing that before, so actually I'm going to move our navy back over here. Maybe we should split our navy into two navies. Now that I think about it, that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to split this in half, and we're going to put in a commander over here, and we're going to have two navies here. 
one navy on this side, one navy on this side for the time being. And I'd like to build two navy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll do the same thing over here. So we will build the navy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that puts us at 100 and 100. Cool. So we'll use that to invade some of this territory out over here. Rome controls some of that, but I wouldn't mind taking some of this other territory. 121 pops, 120, 40 pops, and 51 pops. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. We will need to fabricate claims on these areas. No doubt about that. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Actually, before I do that, let's get this guy becoming a city. Fantastic. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Emlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.